Today I'd like to tie for you a classic streamer. This is the Lou Oatman Mail Dace. The hook I have in advice is a 300 size 10 and this is a six extra long streamer hook and you can get this from Green Caddis Outfitters at greencaddis.com I'm going to start out by putting lead wire on there I have 15 thousandths that's all I have but you could put heavier wire on there depending how fast you want it to drop and we're gonna leave the back a little bare and we're gonna leave the front a little bare so we have room to tie our head and taper off the fly on the back and that looks pretty good about two eye lengths from the eye of the hook push that all together yeah and get rid of that yeah I'm gonna use a very light cream colored thread and we're gonna start the thread behind the eye and I'm holding those lead wraps in place so they, I don't push them back there we go I got it now and we're gonna go over this and I'm gonna continue right to the rear of the hook and then we take off the excess now I'm gonna tie in the rib and this is a medium this is a number 14 gold and silver tinsel and I'm going to tie it on so I can see the silver side because we want it to be gold trim just a little of that and when we wrap it it will be gold you're seeing the gold side now I'm seeing the silver side I'm gonna bring this up forward and I'm gonna hold it there now I have a white or a pale cream floss and I'm going to tie this in and remove remove that excess there I automatically put double half hitches in that's just out of habit I'm going to move my bobbin cradle over and I'm going to put my thread in the bobbin cradle and I'm going to wrap my floss come back on it get that tightened up there I'm gonna bring that all the way to the rear and I'm gonna go back up Then I'm going to go back down once again. And we're going to create a tapered body here. And this time I'm not going to go as far as the first time. 
and then return to the front I'm going to go ahead and tie that off right there. Put a couple of wraps in front of it. And cut that off close. Now we're going to take our gold tinsel. I'm going to give it a, a turn on the bare hook in the back and then wrap this forward. Make some nice even wraps. And when we get to the top we're going to Tie that off. Make sure you keep that tinsel tight until you get it so you can get it uh, tied off. Now I'm going to turn my hook upside down. For the throat, I'm going to use orange hackle fibers. It and we don't want these too long. Ideally, maybe one and a half the width of the gap. We're going to secure them right underneath. I lost a couple of them there. That's good though. And we're going to go ahead and remove the excess. Tie this all in. Make sure I get them all covered over good. Now we turn the fly back over. Now we're going to take two olive hackles and you want these to be only about one and a half the length of the hook. I'm going to tie in first one and I'm tying this on the top and a little bit to the side. Now we're going to tie them in. Tie in the second. Now we're going to take a pair of ginger badger hackle and we're going to tie them in. We need to measure them up. And there we go. I'm going to tie that one right in too. I'm going to tidy up this head there a little bit. Drop my bobbin. Now I'm going to take a pair of jungle cock eyes. Put them right on the side. We're going to cover this head over. Now the head is going to be black, so I'm going to take my black marker and color this thread.
Probably going to have to use that marker a couple of times. I would rather color the thread first than trying to use the marker on the head. you got too much possibility of getting mark the marker on something you don't want to get it on. Finisher. And I'm going to use my UV Diamond Fine. Just put a drop on there and then carry it around. And hit that with the light. And here we have Lou Oatman's Mail Dace. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.